Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to try to find the integral of the sine cube of x. And we're going to use the same trick we did in the previous integral when we tried to find the cosine cube of x. So for that, we have these relationships that the sine square of x plus the cosine square, square of x equals 1. That means we can also write uh, the sine square of x as 1 minus the cosine square of x. And this we're going to use as a technique to solve for this integral right here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to separate the sine cube of x into the sine square of x times the sine of x times dx. And then we're going to replace the sine square of x by 1 minus the cosine square of x. Again, the reason why we do that is because we realize that the sine of x is the differential of the cosine of x. So we're going to replace the sine square of x by 1 minus the cosine square of x, and multiply that times the sine of x times dx. Now we're going to multiply the sine of x through with these two terms here. This gives us the integral of the sine of x minus the cosine square of x times the sine of x, the whole thing, times dx. And now we have two separate integrals. We can separate those. This can now be written as the integral of the sine of x times dx minus the integral of the cosine square of x times the sine of x times dx. Now when we let u equal the cosine of x, see what happens. Let u equal the cosine of x, then du dx is equal to minus the sine of x, and du is equal to minus the sine of x times dx. So we need a minus sine of x dx, I look over here, and I have a sine of x dx, so I need a minus sine, which is over here. I can then rewrite this as follows. This is equal to the integral of the sine of x dx plus the integral of the cosine square of x times a minus sine of x times dx. And notice now I have the exact differential du, and I'll let the cosine of x equals u, so the cosine square of x is u squared. This can now be written as the integral of the sine of x times dx plus the integral of u squared du. This is easy to integrate. We know that the derivative of the sine of x is the cosine of x, so the integral of the sine of x is the negative cosine of x. This is equal to the negative cosine of x um, plus, when I integrate u squared, I get u cubed divided by the new exponent 3, and I can't forget my constant of integration. Now replacing u by what u is equal to, the cosine of x, this is equal to minus the cosine of x plus the cosine cube of x divided by 3 plus a constant of integration, and that is the integral of the sine cube of x dx. Now notice again, we needed to use some trick here. Once we use a trick, the rest is easy. If you've never seen this before and you can't figure out the trick, it may be quite hard to try and figure out how to integrate this. Once the trick is down, it's pretty easy after that. And that's how we do that.